Hey guys, Swordsman here. I got a uh, game of Mortal Kombat for you guys. I picked this up the other day for the Xbox. And I, I guess it was just kind of on a whim. I, I know it Lazy Boy was looking forward to it. Uh, Delusional Crown's a good buddy of mine. Uh, got it, of course. I'm actually facing him. Show me what you can do. I am uh, Luke Kang versus, I want to say Smoke. Uh, Delusional Kraut is actually my uh, StarCraft 2, 2 versus 2 partner uh, of mine. Uh, I'm not very good at Mortal Kombat, as you might expect, but uh, I don't know, I'm debating trying to buy one of those like uh, Street Fighter 4 game pads that use, or uh, I don't think I want to go the full way and buy one of those $100 plus freaking game fight sticks or whatnot, that just seems impractical for only having one fight game, but uh, seems pretty fun, it's uh, actually quite a bit of fun, it's uh, the storyline, I, I know, it's, it's a fighting game with a pretty cool storyline, so uh, that's got to count for something for that, how rare that is. So I figured I'd show that up. I love how uh, a lot of you guys are hating the portal playthrough. Uh, hey, what can I say, I like being different every now and then, gotta throw you off from uh, the same old expecting uh, shit. I had fun doing it. I will probably continue doing it. If you don't like it, by all means, don't watch. You will not break my heart if you don't watch it. I am uh, quite content with uh, those that do enjoy it will uh, watch it for what it is. Harmless entertainment for being silly while playing a very awesome game. One other thing I wanted to uh, touch on that I had uh, kind of forgot to make a video about, but uh, the latest episode of Fashionable Gamers with uh, the lovely Athena and multi-talented Twitch has gone live. Uh, links will be in the description. You can access it through iTunes now. If you just uh, go into their iTunes store, search Fashionable Gamers, you will pull it right up. You can subscribe to it and everything. Uh, this week, I, I was actually a guest on it. Uh, their first guest that they had, the first guy that's been on it. Uh, it was a pretty good time. The age-old debate came back uh, of whether or not uh, hot dogs is appropriate to have lettuce on them. We also uh, discussed a bit about... Uh, well, they basically made me take a quiz. I, for one, am uh, petitioning the results of that quiz on the fact that it was biased and uh, full of shit. So I thought it was a fairly entertaining podcast. They asked me to come on and talk about some pretty new, uh, pretty cool and exciting stuff. So I did. It was a fun time. I, I can think of worse ways to spend some time with uh, two awesome women on a podcast. Okay, uh, this game just uh, some Mortal Kombat still. Uh, I did order an Anza finally. They had them back in stock, so hopefully with the better D-pad on the Anza, I think I'll be able to perform a little bit better. As it stands right now, my controller's built-in D-pad is old and just, it does not function properly. Ow, I just got an uppercut. Okay, anyway, uh, d this game, uh, if, if you like fighting games, you probably are already well aware of this. If you're kind of on the fence, it's a pretty good game. You might rent it, you might uh, borrow it from somebody. The, the single player is pretty damn cool. It actually has a neat storyline to it that I was impressed by. Uh, uh, the multiplayer seems to be as deep as pos as ever. Uh, it's it's pretty easy to pick up the basic com like the basic moves and stuff to have fun with. But then there is still that next uh, level of skill and depth in order to uh, progress into doing all the combos flawlessly and everything like that. So uh, here is a fatality. I could not pull out the win. I thought I was going to have the comeback, but uh, hey, it was fun. Showed you guys a fatality. Uh, showed you some bone-breaking moves and stuff like that. All right, guys, let me know if you like this or want to see more. Take care, guys. I will see you next time.